So the project came about um, when we were looking at different industries in New Zealand and thinking about how we could use technology and wearable technology in ways that were um, potentially beneficial. A couple of people had mentioned to us that forestry was an area we should be looking at because it has such a high accident rate. And so we started uh, investigating and asking people you know, where the problems were and what they thought the issues were in forestry. We needed to understand exactly what the workers' needs were in terms of, firstly, um, a lot of things that you can use for tracking people, for gathering data, um, don't work very well in a forestry environment. So you have to be mindful of where things are attached to people and how robust they are. You also then have to start thinking about personal privacy of the data that's being gathered, who has access to that. So if you're um, tracking workers and trying to understand things about, for example, things like their heart rate and their activities and their workload, that's quite invasive in terms of the data that you're gathering. It's very personal. Um, and so if you start using off-the-shelf tracking for that, you're giving away all of these people's data for free. You're, you know, they lose all control over it. And we realised again fairly early on that this wasn't something that we wanted to do. We were much more interested in trying to provide a solution. So we call it ethical and evidence-based. So it's gathering data in a way that doesn't um, take away people's rights to their personal data and also using the data in a way that is meaningful. So one of the ways we're looking at for gathering data is, is via a smart shirt. So what that means is incorporating sensors into something similar to a compression vest. Uh, so there's sensors embedded in a compression shirt. Those sensors are then uh, send data to a ESP32 board, so a small uh, microchip board, that then analyzes that data and sends it via Bluetooth to a mobile device. So it fits into the compression shirt, so the sensors themselves are sort of embedded in there, they'll be sewn in or um, attached in some other way. They will then be run using uh, conductive thread, so the wires in this shirt will actually be embedded in the shirt. Uh, once they get towards where the boards are going to be held, they will have connectors soldered to the wires, and those connectors can then be plugged in and out of the board. This allows the board to be removed with the battery, and the shirt can be washed. We've been running participatory design um, working groups and hui also with forestry workers up north. So a lot of forestry workers are Māori and particularly in Northland we've been working with um, teams who are 100% Māori workers. So we all, again we have to be sort of culturally respectful about how we gather data and the sort of data we gather and who it belongs to. So engaging those workers in the design process means that they have input and they have buy-in. They feel like it's partly their solution. Thank you.